a.m. Right now, state lawmakers in the thick of crossover day, uh, a day when both the House and the Senate, they pass bills to the other chambers. Now, usually when a bill passes from one side to the other, it stands a chance of surviving. If not, it dies. 11 Lives Joe Ripley has been closely following the progress of key pieces of legislation all day. He's joining us now live at the state capitol. And Joe, you heard a lot of debate over the future of Georgia's film tax credit. That's right. Over the last several years, Georgia certainly made a strong reputation in the film industry. A lot of that has to do with its state tax credit. Today, the state lawmakers were debating and eventually passed a measure dealing with expanding that tax credit. Well, uh, they also debated some other key measures today. This bill having received the requisite constitutional majority is therefore passed. House Bill 1180 further regulates Georgia tax credits around the booming film industry. It would limit 2.5% of the state's revenue in the budget to go toward transferable tax credits. That would up Georgia's investment to around $1 billion. House Bill 1180 introduces critical reforms that strike a delicate balance between incentivizing production companies and safeguarding taxpayer interests. Supporters say the bill encourages film companies to invest in local studios, post-production, musicians, and the Georgia Film Academy. Opponents of the bill argue independent films might not benefit from those tax credits. Sends the wrong message to all businesses that Georgia's commitment is subject to change at any time without notice. In the Senate, lawmakers passed SB 437, which would regulate hemp sales in the state. It would define how strong the product could be, prohibit sales to those under the age of 21, and impose up to a $500 fine for violators. State senators also passed SB 395, also known as Wesley's Law. The bipartisan bill, backed in part by State Senator Sonia Halpern, would make opioid combatants like Narcan more available in schools and allow more qualified personnel to use them moments that make a difference, it, it opens up the possibility for us being able to save lives should anything bad happen. And just within the last few minutes, we learned that the state Senate passed a measure, a religious freedom bill that now goes to the House. Very controversial bill that we are closely watching. The House is set tonight to take up a school vouchers bill as well. See if that heads over to the Senate. It doesn't look like a push for autumn to, uh, to end automatic voter registration is going to survive this session as well. And as for the issue of sports betting, the Senate has already set a couple of bills over to the House's side. So the ball now in their court. All right, Joe, thank you so much.